Hello, welcome Slashers, and I'm Crypt here, and welcome back to my channel. I got some Chucky stuff to talk about, some cult of Chucky stuff. Before I get into this, I want to show you guys a tweet from Don Mancini, and it says Chucky's coming. So, from reading this um, tweet that he posted, I'm thinking maybe, you know, he's referring to the fact that maybe, you know, Cold to Chucky's finished because some people are saying, you know, it's locked and ready to go. So he's just probably referring to that or he's referring to the fact that there might be a trailer coming real soon. So we're going to have to keep our eyes peeled for that because the trailer may be coming sooner than we expect. So we just got to keep our eyes open for that. Um, But anyway, I'm going to just get into... What needs to be talked about today? Um, today is actually um, something that a subscriber of mine has been trying to tell me, and he sent me a bunch of these screenshots from apparently the editor by the name of Dessert Spider. Um, this might be the same guy who's been trying to tell me the fact that um, the new Chucky film's gonna like where there's like three hours worth of footage apparently that they caught for the movie. Or something like that. Um, this might be the same guy, but someone sent it to me over Twitter by name of Freakout. And so Freakout told me to check this out, and I'm going to show you guys what these images consist of. So Dessert Spiders was um, kind of answering some stuff that people were asking him. He said, Cutting rooms are suits where movies are edited. This is a throwback term from when film was cut using splicers alt any room Chucky is in. Alright, so um I'm learning a little bit about this stuff. Um so I'm pretty sure it's linear editing um and non non linear editing I'm pretty sure is the one where you kinda go in digitally and you make your edits. If I'm correct but um anyway let's move on um the next thing they said he says this is a film splicer called a butt splicer no joke I worked with these back in the 90s you line the film cut then tape it so you know this is how movies were made back in the old days before they started doing everything all digitally so this is this is you know traditional you know back in the old days around before like um, digital editing was a big thing so this is kind of how they edited back then and some people still do this method I don't think uh, very many do it as they did back in the day because um, non-linear editing is actually, um, it's actually cheaper. Um, if, um, if it's actually the other way around, if it's actually non-linear editing and then you're not linear editing, please let me know. I'm sorry, I'm getting my twist, I'm getting my words twisted up badly, but, cause it's just like a mouthful, but I'm pretty sure, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm saying it right, or I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the right term that I'm using. But yeah, linear editing is kind of the traditional way back in the day, just so you guys know. Alright, so next thing, he says, although I'm not at liberty to, sp to specify current runtime, it is true, the feature was cut down from 3 hours runtime. So, something we know is, in total, there was about over three hours of footage and he said they not like he's, he's not really supposed to say what the runtime is in terms of like editing I think there's still editing so he said specify current runtime remember what I was saying oh they're probably finished editing or something like that so I was saying that some people were saying it's locked and loaded and ready 
I think they're in the editing process right now. I think they're still editing. I'm not sure how long it takes to edit a film. I'm assuming it takes a while because they have to add in special effects. But, um, yeah, he's pretty much confirming that, um, it was kind of cut down from three hours and he's not at liberty to say, uh, what the current runtime is at. So, it, it's confirmed, but it's not, like, the, um, movie edited is not at that amount, apparently. Which is pretty interesting, and I know this is true because I've seen, um, tweets with... You know, him tagged a Don Mancini's tweets. And so I kind of know that, you know, this, this guy's actually the editor. And he's actually, he, he takes part in editing this film. But anyway, let's move on to the next thing. Um, he says, I may be biased, but I honestly like Colt of Chucky more than any other Chucky movie in the last two decades. And I've seen them all. Um, now, I wouldn't say it's biased, but it's, it's your, like, you know, it's his opinion, you know? Um, I honestly hope that Colt of Chucky is, you know, I hope it's everything we've hoped for it to be, and I think it will. I have high hopes for this film, and I, I, you know, the first Child's Play is, like, my all-time favorite. I love the first Child's Play. It is a classic. I want to see how they do Colt to Chucky. It could be better. It could, you know, be fairly good. We'll just have to find out. I'm, I'm just trying to go into this movie with the best of um, opinions. Yo, know, I'm just, I'm just hoping that this movie does as well that as you know everyone hopes for it too, and I think it will, especially coming from the editor. You know. But, um, anyway, that's really all I have for this video. Um, I'm pretty excited. I'm glad to talk more about this. I, I, I want to talk a lot more about Chucky because I haven't been talking a lot about it, and I apologize. I want to do more Chucky talk videos because I think I've only done, like, one. But I want to do more videos where I talk about Chucky and tell me what you guys want me to talk about. I'm thinking about talking about uh, reasons why um, Cold to Chucky should be released in theaters. And I'm not talking limited theaters. I'm talking about it should be released everywhere because if it's just released in like just um, limited places, then that means I won't be able to see it because I kind of live in a small um, county, and I, I don't live, like, I don't live where I can just see the movie, you know, in a place that's, like, huge, so it'd be a huge bummer if I'd be, you know, one out of the few people to miss out on it, so I hope, you know, if they do make the decision to release it to theaters, I hope to make it to where everyone can see it. Because I'm a huge fan of Chucky. And it'd kill me if I couldn't see this film in theaters. So, you know. I, I would be okay with just buying the movie. But, and seriously. I, I want this movie to be in theaters. I just want to be able to see it. But otherwise, I will still buy it. You know, I will be you know a little sad that it's not coming to theaters. But, I will still buy it. I will watch it. And I'll review it for you guys. And I'm, I'm just very excited. Um, anyway, I'm about to go. Just about to talk about a little something. Because I'm a little upset. I'm about to tell you guys why. Um, you know Quick, right? Um, Quick Champions. I just found out the game is like... Uh, I thought it was for Xbox and PlayStation. But apparently it's not. Some little... So I was thinking of like, oh, you know, I could use this as, you know, gameplay footage. And I could record this because... I'm not sure if I want to, like, take the like, game off of other people's channel, but if I do, I will give credit, but, um, like, I was thinking, you know, it brings me back to this time where, um, you know, the, the Chucky game was canceled, like, I mean, the game's not getting canceled in this case, but, 
it brings back the feelings that I felt when, you know, the Chucky game got canceled. And I was thinking, maybe, what if I do a video about that, too? Because that was a huge bummer when that happened. I bet you none of you guys knew about that when the Chucky game got canceled. Um, let me know if you guys want me to talk about that, because that still makes me mad to this day. Because I really wanted a Chucky game, then it just, it just got canceled, and... If you guys want me to talk about that, let me know, because I could also specify reasons why I think, um, you know, a Chucky game should be made and should be recontinued if possible, and the fact that maybe even Friday 13th can make games, like, slasher games come out and maybe even revive this game, you know? But, um, anyway, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe to join Sister Posse Family, and become a slasher and share as sharing really helps my channel and helps people get the latest on Chucky so I will I'll see you guys again real soon I'm hoping to make more of these videos for you guys because I do really love making these videos talking about Chucky because he is after all my favorite horror villain so I'm hoping I can whip up some more videos for you guys real soon. And as well as, you know, Outwise 2, I, um, at the time of recording this, I had just recently finished filming, um, a gameplay for that. And so, I'm hoping that, um, I can get that out soon too. And I'm pretty excited about that. That game is very scary. Um, but yeah, I'm out of here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace. What the fuck?